Alright guys, time to hit it, hit it, hit it. For some reason I just couldn't. Um, feeling kind of, I'm not going to say drained or anything like that, but I just have this feeling that feels like, you know, it's okay, just take it easy, you know. And I just feel like, okay, let me listen to my body because I didn't get much sleep at all last night. It's just so hard to sleep at night, especially with the TV on and, you know, my family and stuff up. And it's just hard for me to go to sleep when it's a lot going on. So I don't be getting good sleep and I get up and I go to the gym, which has been something I've been doing. Excuse me, it has been fine, but today I just felt like my body was like, girl, just get that rest, like, relax, and I feel better about it, so I'm just going to relax today, see what the results are going to be, and um, kind of share any thoughts for today, because I'm not going to be exercising. All right, Mara Virus, so this is just a recap of day one's results, and today I'm going to be sharing with you day two's results, so stay tuned. I wanted to share with you guys these jeans that I wear. I throw them on every time I do Uber and one of my t-shirts. These are the t-shirts that I like to wear when I get dressed just to throw on in there. This t-shirt was tight. Like these t-shirts were really tight on me. Oh my gosh. We are on day two of the water fast. Excuse me. Day two of the water fast. And I just want to share with you my favorite jeans and a t-shirt I like to throw on just to show you how it looks now and then hopefully show you again later in my water fast. All right, here we record, so I'm gonna set back. I don't know if y'all can see. Still got love handles, it's still there. Still got a gut, but the back fat is going, going, going. And today I'm currently at 264. Let's see how these change for me. Excuse me, guys. Ooh, let's see how they change for me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I didn't go to the gym today, but I've been doing a lot of work around the house. About to water my baby. Got my water on deck, and I'm about to go do um, some Uber Eats. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah. That is a workout because I'm in and out, in and out, walking up to cars. I mean, walking into restaurants, walking to houses, blah, blah, blah. So that is definitely a workout, especially on fast and anything you do, any movement is good. So, yeah. All right, guys, let me go. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put my calorie counter on for today. That's what I'm going to do and see what my calorie burn look like. Let me go do that now. Hold on. If you don't know what a calorie counter is, it is a heart rate monitor that calculates your calories and it is a watch that goes to it so the transmitter transmits things to the watch so you can see how many calories you burn let me put it on and then i'll show you guys you have to lubricate it and i have my lubrication here and this is if you ladies are familiar with sonograms guys might be familiar too if you had a wife or someone that had a baby and you were at a sauna with them so that's all you do is put that there let me put it on now it is under my bra right here so it can monitor my heartbeat and let me show you the watch so here's the watch and all you do is press start and see it'll start from zero calories and it'll count up i love polar t fit i mean polar ft4 this is a polar ft4 got this from amazon oh my gosh like in 2000 and oh it's asking me see how it says it's heart rate okay see now you see that heartbeat pumping up at the top well it should let me see see one calorie already you will see a heartbeat you see it that means the, the monitor is transmitting to the actual um, watch and you are burning calories okay 
All right, guys, so I'm going to see what this is at the end of the day um, as far as my calorie burn and see what is the difference from me being in the gym and not going to the gym and my pound lost every day. Let's just kind of see if it's a difference. All right, guys. I'm going to talk about how um, being out here doing this is the worst because the food. P.F. Chang, oh my gosh, the food smelled so good. People's, I was at the bar waiting for the order and it was so much good food around me. Um, this is a struggle. It's easy when I'm in the house and I just have to run an ear and go in and out. But this water fasting, still got my water. I'm still stuck into it. I ain't playing. Um, but I'm being serious about the struggle. Like, I went into a steak place where they made steak sandwiches. So good. Went to a um, Whole Foods place where they made um, gourmet hummus with the garlic and the roasted tomato and stuff. Oh, my gosh. And where else I go? Where else I go? I went somewhere else. Um... The steakhouse, PF chain. I think that was about it so far. But yeah, it is a struggle because this food smells so freaking good. Okay, so good. Mm -mm -mm. But I shall progress and I shall conquer this. I'm back home, and that's the calorie burn. And so I was told that I should get some gum, a sugar-free gum. I know sugar-free gum is not too good for you, but I think it seems like almost every gum is sugar-free now. Like, really. So, I um got some Trident when I tried that. I had some gum that I had bought to keep in the car that I told y'all about. And I had tried that, and it's like peach and something. It was disgusting. The taste of it just, it was not good. It's like my taste buds are like mega strong. And so the trident I'm eating after I put that in my mouth. And y'all, the mixture is disgusting. I'm about to take a shower and get myself in the bed. I don't know why, but my left leg is hurting. And it's weird because it's a pain that I used to have before and it had went away. I don't know if it was because I was being grown. I had my legs too. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, it just feels, it don't hurt. It's like an achy, weird, just weird. It's just really weird. So, I'm about to shower and lay down and prop my legs up and take off all this mess off this bed. <sighs> all right, y'all. Um, that's basically it. I'm, I'm not eating anything or doing anything else today. I'm just about to go to bed. So, this will be day two. Day two down. Still haven't eaten anything. Uh, I just chewed what I let me show y'all what I'm chewing and then I had did some research and some people said that gum helped them get through it even better so this is the gum I got like a mint flavor try them alright y'all later the reason for the gum I'm sorry the reason for the gum is the taste that that ilky metallic taste in my mouth is just so disgusting like it's so disgusting that I'm trying to <sighs> I'm trying not to um put something else in my mouth to get the taste out of my mouth so I was like okay it's sugar free it's not gonna mess up my ketosis and all that so that's what the gum is for to, to help my taste buds but it's weird because I like this kind of gum and it still tastes kind of weird so whatever I tried bye two six two point two oh you was recording yeah I recorded oh okay did you record the first time I got it that was the first time. I hate that it kind of keeps a numbers locked in for mm. three people. It's like irritating. Just go back to zero. That's all I need. Okay, stepping on again. Two six two point two. All right, and that's what it is. All right, baby, you can stop. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? I hit it. I hit it. And here we go. Boom. That's the half mark. And then we got the 30. And we got the 31. The 31. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The 31. Nine more pounds. And now be 40. Pound down. I'm so happy. We 40 pounds is amazing. Why? Because 
my total pounds that I need to lose is 92. That I will lose is 92, but I'm going to see what my comfort zone is, where it is, because I told y'all about 228, 230 is like really good weight for me. If I can find a picture, I'm going to try to insert it of what I look like at like 228 and how my gut literally goes down. I'm going to try to find that. Um, and so that would technically be um, about up in, if that's 240 down, it'll be about 260, 260 pounds down is what I would be looking for to get to 230 or something. Is it two? Yeah, 60, yeah. Um, 60 pounds down will give me about 230. Um, 40 pounds is where 240 pounds is where I said I would be getting new shoes, which will be 52 pounds down. That will bring me to 240 pounds. 246 um, will be halfway mark of the two of 92. So that I would be halfway there on this journey at 246, 246 pounds on this journey. And um, the major, major goal that I'm pushing to get to, because that's what I mentally feel like I want to be at, but it may not be that much that I have to lose because I am kind of tall. So we shall see you guys and go on this journey with me and see how my body looks at these different points. And I'll let you guys know, um, during this journey, whatever I'm doing, how I'm doing it, I'm going to be sharing everything, but I'm going to get to my weight that I desire to be comfortable. And you guys will know what it is once I get there. But at this point, 200 pounds is my ultimate goal, but that may be too small for me. So we shall see. Um, so yeah, I am technically nine pounds away from 40 pounds down. Bam, right there. And what is that? 15 pounds away from 46 pounds down. Is that? Yeah, nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, yeah, 15 pounds away from the halfway mark. 15 pounds away from the halfway mark and if I go to the halfway mark and that's where I am like excited I still only have if I decided to go to 230 16 pounds to go from there are you are you kidding me are you kidding me um, this was the ideal. I was saying idea was this. So I put more marks on this. Idea was two is um seventy seven pounds down, and that'll give me two fifteen, and that's a little over two hundred, but still less than where I think I'll be comfortable, which is two thirty. So it's like in between. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I hope I'm not rambling, but I hope y'all kind of get it so I can visually see this. But guys, those are pounds that I dropped through working out, through fasting, willpower. I got it. Y'all got it. We can do this. <laughs> Says a sugar addict who loves cookies, pies, and cakes. Okay? We can do this. All right, my revivers. I have a little treat for you. So this is back in 2006-ish for my hubby and I. We were both some nice-sized people, as you can see. And I um, decided to basically, uh, yeah, just live life and not pay attention to it. And after I endured some painful situations where one of my um, sisters was killed my little sisters was shot and killed um, I kind of went through a depression so you kind of see my highest weight at 300 and then as I began to melt away by doing my damnness to get in the gym and do what I had to do as I was losing weight I realized that I needed to do something more I needed to do more strength training because my butt was like flat so you see the before and after the pictures one is me bigger than the other but I am um, actually toned and my butt was more round I decided to go and do a 250 squat squat challenge which you can find on my channel I did it every day 250 squats in the camera shared it and as time went on my butt did what it needed to do and it was plump and I was feeling myself okay so these are just pictures of different times of me during the journey and um, me just 
shrinking and getting down to 230 ish range this is about 230 228 230 ish that's why i wanted to share this guy this with you guys um my legs were toned um i didn't have the love handles and i was really really feeling the results and loving the results and feeling good about myself and that i did it and that's what made so many women seek after me in south carolina and out outside cities i was traveling doing um fitness classes helping people People, training people all of the above if you go to CPR for the body Instagram you can see my classes um, my one-on-ones my trainings all that I shared a lot of that and so this is me without a blazer wearing a uh, wife beater and I loved it this is me showing how my waist began to get smaller as I ate right in did fitness now mind you guys I put this dress on because I bought these as gold dresses I have them in my closet now still with the tags on but for some reason looking back now i'm like oh i will kill that dress i will put that on now but i still was self-conscious it is a matter of you being comfortable i still would not wear that dress outside so this is just me showing you a little bit of my hairstyles even at a short state as i allowed it to grow into my afro that you've seen um recently before i chopped it um i used to do the sponge twist i did a lot i wore makeup i only wore my jewelry my custom pieces anytime you see any jewelry in these pictures they were mainly my pieces that i customized this was a night where i hosted a huge karaoke show where people come from all over the world in south carolina when i came into the crochet it was amazing i loved it it was the best thing for transitioning and growing my natural hair underneath it because i decided i wanted to grow my own afro so these are just more shots of me but this is as i kind of gained the weight i was in the like 240 50 ish range in these pictures so yeah guys this is a picture of me at the k michelle concert and that bag you see in my hand was a bag that was tossed in the trash by my friend in atlanta when we were purging her home and i nicely got it out the trash and said no ma'am it was a white pen leather bag that i hand painted and made my own and rocked it to the concert in my thrifted outfit so guys i just want to share a little bit of me so i hope you guys enjoyed this treat and guess what if i can do it you can do it and i'm going to do it again let's do it